Hello there, my Leos. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> so it'll be, this'll be your reading for September of 2023. The Four of Wands popped, popped out of the deck immediately. That is the card of victory and the door of opportunity being open. I like it already. Let's get some shuffles here and find out what's going on for my Leos of September of 2023. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse, so this situation could involve maybe you were hoping that somebody would let their guard down, and now they've seen time and time again that it's been proven to them that they can trust you is what I'm getting. You got a lot of cards that are just flying right out of the deck. And we've got the Fool card in the reverse. Yeah, I think this person was hesitating before. Let's see what else we've got for Leo. It's trying to make it so you can see me a little better. The lighting doesn't look as good as I thought it would. <laughs> I hear a blue jay screeching in the background. Blue jays usually have to do with standing your ground, not tolerating a bully. And I just heard a woodpecker too chirping. You might want to go ahead and uh, look up the spiritual meaning of those animals. So we've got the Emperor, that's talking about being in your power. Uh, you could be dealing with the Taurus, possibly even an Aries, um, or some type of male authority figure, maybe your father or a boss. It doesn't have to be male, but it's a masculine energy. Let's see what else we've got here. And so in the recent past for Leo, We've got the Page of Swords and the Two of Swords. I feel like um, you're very choosy about who you tell your business to. You've been uh, back and forth between should I tell the person, shouldn't I tell them my business? Um, because I think that part of you is a little bit fearful that they could be a gossip, and they very well may be. Um, and there's no need to tell people your business anyways unless you you know, like I said, feel like you can trust them. Maybe you were having trust issues with somebody where you weren't trusting each other because you've both been burned. And what do we have coming up on the horizon in the very near future for my Leos? So we've got the judgment card, an important decision needs to be made. I think it's deciding on whether you can trust this person or not. So why don't we just get to the root of that and get to the point and find out, well, can they? I mean, only your own intuition can really decide, but let's see if the cards verify what you're already thinking. Can Leo trust this person that they're thinking about or that they're at odds with, possibly? Is this the budding of a new friendship or just a nosy snake who's not really concerned that just wants to ask you questions because they want to dip in your business? That's the question. Oh, let's see. Um, so three cards came out of the deck. So we've got the Seven of Wands that talks about keeping your guard up. The King of Wands. So you're in your power. And there may be people like in your circle possibly trying to take you down. Or someone that's like a sort of beginning friend where you're not sure if they're going to be a good friend or not. Because it's fairly new. I hear a chipmunk chirping loudly in the background. Um, chipmunks are introverted and they keep to themselves, so maybe that talks about you. Maybe you're introverted and you keep to yourself for that reason. 
people have proven themselves to not be so trustworthy. And we've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse, so that talks about the opposite of an emotional happy ending. So if you've been a little bit leery about giving your full trust to this person and you've got your guard up a little bit, this is verifying that, yeah, you have every right to do so. I wouldn't say that this person is some totally evil monster. Um, would I trust them a little bit? Maybe, but I would not put all of, you know, I wouldn't go full force into trusting this person. I would give it a little while if you're gonna end up trusting them at all. And how do people see you, Leo? How do people see my Leos? So we've got the Nine of Swords, so I think it shows outwardly. People know that you're not quick to trust anyone. People know that you have anxiety. You try to mask it, but I think that your close people can tell. And the person that uh, is in question here, I think that they know that they have to prove themselves because they know that you don't trust easily. And you have every right not to trust easily, Leo. What actions is this person going to take towards my Leos? What's the next actions that this person is going to take that's on Leo's mind? So we've got the death card. So that talks about big change and transformation. So I think that this person knows that if they want to gain your trust, they're going to have to make some big changes because there's things that they do or maybe say that lead you to believe that you shouldn't trust them or maybe they flaked on you in the past. I don't think this has anything to do with the death card, but I just got a message in my head that said shit or get off the pot, and I think that's what you're thinking towards this person. Like, maybe they've been dilly-dallying, or maybe not even dilly-dallying. How about lollygagging? You know, maybe they were, do you know, lollygagging instead of dilly-dallying. Um... You know, maybe being flaky, being wishy-washy, where you can't make heads or tails of it. You know, where they're not really being clear on where you stand with them. And you're kind of tired of it, and I don't blame you. I wouldn't put my all into somebody either if they, you know, can't make up their freaking mind. So this person knows that they need to change their behavior. That You know, they know that they need to shit or get off the pot. So what's it going to be? Is this person going to shit or get off the pot? <laughs> what are they going to do? You know, and that that's, uh, you know, if you're meant to know which way things are going to go. Is Leo's person going to shit or get off the pot? You know, and you can always shut them down when you want to. You don't have to wait for them to make up their mind. You can make it up for them and say, you know what? <laughs> you dilly-dallied or lollygagged too long. I'm done. If you were really about me, <laughs> you would have had your mind made up already. Will this person shit or get off the pot? Oh, uh, we've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse, so that talks about emotional immaturity. They may not be ready for what you have to offer, Leo. Um, so if this person is either rejecting you or not getting it together for whatever reason, it's not a reflection of you, it's because they can't handle what, y you know, what you have to offer. They're not mature enough to handle something that's on your level. Um, because you probably can't help but think, you know, well, why wouldn't they want somebody like Leo? Leo's got it all. Leo's got all the things going on. We're all human. We're not perfect. But for the most part, you've got a lot to offer and you've got a big ass heart. But this person can't keep up and you deserve better. Now, if none of this is making any sense, of course, as I always say, take what resonates and leave the rest. 
Um, if your person is totally showing up and they're totally reliable and they've made it clear exactly what they want and you're happy, everything's all hunky-dory, well, throw this out. It isn't for you. It's not your story. Not this time. Um, and you can also check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You know, most people go straight for the sun sign. If the sun sign doesn't line up, you know, if you're a Leo moon or a Leo rising or Venus, maybe that this might be for you. Um, see what other, you know, placements in your chart have going on. All right, my Leos, I hope this made sense for you. I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great rest of the month of September of 2023. Well, it hasn't even begun yet, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Well, thank you so much for watching, Leos. Thank you.